Hey guys, this is Manak and you're watching Civil Pro. So this is the 10th part of the video lecture series on ETAPS. In this part, we will go through the design part. Earlier, we had covered up to the analysis part. So in the design, what we will do, first of all, we will define the properties and take the properties of concrete and steel. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do subscribe. And also hit the like button if you're learning something because it supports us and also helps us notice in the YouTube algorithm. So now, first of all, we go to define and in this define, you will see here properties, material properties. So in this material properties, you see this, we have already defined this M20 grade, you know, concrete. Now we need to define what steel properties. So we'll define our steel properties here. So before that, I'm just click on modify properties, but you can see that this will not, uh, you cannot edit this. So for that, first of all, because since you've learned, you know, already uh, done the analysis, make sure you unlock the model. So after you unlock the model, then you can see define and then, you know, material properties, it will open. So in M20 concrete, we had already defined uh, you can replace this A615. Yeah, this is the steel, one of the steel property. You can just click on modify. And uh, here we'll write here FE uh, 500. You can see the 500 or 500D. This is the mostly used steel rebars presently at site. So I'm writing this FE 500. So 550 and 600 are also there in the market, but this is the most common use now. So uh, metal type 8 is rebar and uh, most important thing, this, this things we can keep as per usual. Most important thing is to edit your uh, yield strength. So yield strength for, you know, uh, minimum yield strength for FP500 bar is obviously your 500. Yes. And uh, the minimum tensile strength FU is your 610. You don't need a newton or a newton per mpa newton per mm square so here this one uh this fye is simply fy multiplied by your factor of safety 1.5 so it will be keep this as 550 and make this as you multiply 610 in the factor of safety it will be your 671 so these two are not important right now. So this is your plastic analysis. Mainly we are concerned with these two. So for FP500 steel, the minimum yield strength is FY is 500 uh, MPA and uh, your minimum tensile strength FU is 600 uh, MPA. So just click on OK. And uh, here you can just click on OK here. So right now we have defined our material uh, that is the steel. We'll just click on OK. So uh, once you have defined the material, the next thing uh, you can define is the go to define and will define the rebar sizes here. So section properties and here reinforcing bar sizes. So by default, ETABs will have the, uh, you know, US bar sizes. So just go to clear all bars. And uh, after that, you can click on here, add common bar set. After you click on this, just click on SI and click on OK. So once you click on SI, as you can see all the bars here, here, present here, the bars which are not used at the site, you can just uh, select him like this and uh, delete it. Simply you can delete so that, you know, when you get the result, you don't get a result which is not practically applicable at site. So you can just select and press delete. Suppose I want to delete 14 M bars. I've selected and press delete in the keyboard. 16 is okay. 18 is not common. 20, 26 is not common bar. And uh, 50 also. And 40 M also. 32, 36 will keep. 25, 28 also will we'll just remove 28 M bars. 22 M bars also I'll remove. So these are the commonly used bars, 8mm, 10mm, 12mm, uh, 16mm, 20, 25, 32, and 36. 
so this bars we will use and then we will just click on ok so right now we have also selected the bar types and the concrete section properties we had already defined for the beams and columns so now in this uh, particular uh, icon there is a design concrete frame design icon we have to you know select the load combination you can just check the select design combinations so this is basically to tell you a tab software what are the combinations which uh, you know it has to be used so these combinations, as you can see these are the unfettered combination which we had created so it is not required we will require this for putting design so these are the basically automatically generated uh, load combinations which uh, you know e tabs uh, have generated automatically so these combinations we will need so everything which uh, it, it has taken is okay so if not we, we have to shift it to that side and then select all the combinations which we wanted just click on okay since it is good so after that what we need to do is simply click on this concrete frame design so now, right now, as you can see, the concrete frame design is not taking because we haven't done the analysis. So first of all, just click on here, run analysis, because we had unlocked the model. So we need to run analysis first. And after the analysis is done, you can just put a concrete frame design. You can see the e tabs will design, you know, the entire, you know, uh, building one by one here. Before we check, first of all, you can do this check. You can uh, go to the drop down and uh, verify that all members are safe or not so here we have an option of verify all members passed so just click on this as you can see all concrete frames have passed the design check so all concrete members have passed if it is not passing then we have to go to that particular you know section and then increase the size of the section which will solve the you know problem in most of the case, most of the cases so right now just click on ok we are seeing some figures here so these are actually the enforcement details here so the, the elevation view will have better understanding so we can see it in the elevation view here so as you can see this is one of the view elevation view i'll just uh, select this view and then do the concrete design once again so to show it there are other ways as well but right now okay right now you can see this is the reinforcement details which it is showing this is actually the reinforcement area so as you can see uh, for the columns it is like this and for the beams also as you can see for the columns in one single span it is showing a single value but for the beams it is showing separate values for the top and the bottom and precisely if you observe for the beams that is it is divided into three sections that is start center and end so the reinforcement is showing like this so if you want to see this in percentage you can also do that so just go to this drop down and here you can go to this option of display design inflow and just click on this in this drop down the select rebar percentage and click on ok now it will give in percentage uh, if you remember that in is 456 or prior 456 the steel minimum steel which is uh, we should take is 0.8 percent so what it has does is uh, if, if section is large and uh, minimum steel is not required then it automatically assigns the minimum steel as you can see 0.8 it has automatically assigned and for beams also generally if the beams sections uh, come around 0.2 then it's economical so generally if we, if we could uh, go for the economical design then uh, we are to design the section between 2% to 2.5% so all these are coming economical sections since we had provided uh, pretty large sections so that's why you know all the design sections are you know coming economical so here you can see this uh, results and if you want to see the details you can just uh, simply right click on this and uh, as you can see uh, this is designed for this particular load combination since all these are maximum you can just click on the summary so when you click on this summary uh, you can see 
that the design uh, properties also comes and also you can see the deciding moments for which the section has been designed so load combination moment will find here so as you can see shear force uh, shear also will find the reinforcement area also here you will find so all these details you will find here let's see for a particular column here so let's see for let's say uh, this particular span of the column right click on this and click on summary and as you can see here so this is the rebar percentage and rebar area 1200 uh, 1280 so this is the rebar area so if we divide it by the cross section then you can easily find the uh, number of rebars and the diameter of rebars we'll show you in the further video about the uh, detailing but here you can see that uh, what are the factors which are affecting the rebar sizes and you know numbers so it, for the column it is majorly the moment and if we increase the sizes then these values will change so uh, what we have learned in this particular video and in today's lecture in the design we have learned how to check the design first of all we have defined the concrete and steel properties and after that we have defined the reinforcement bar sizes and after that we have designed the concrete sections now uh, the main thing after your you know design has got passed and you know that your section is economical next most most important thing is that you need to just get the detailing part or the output part so how to get the output how to generate the drawings and how to know that uh, how much quantity of reinforcement is used in all this structure we will do it in the next lecture till that you can take a break and if you're watching and if you are learning something make sure you drop a comment and also drop a like to show your support thanks for watching bye bye